Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Algebra 1 lesson with me, Mr. Sanchez. Um, we're going to go over Algebra 1, Lesson 3-1, Solving Inequalities. So, yay. We've entered a new era of math, right? Our learning targets for today are going to be the following. We need to be able to write inequality to represent real-world situations while we'll focusing on this in class. And solve multi-step inequalities. So solving multi-step inequalities is going to be pretty straightforward. There's no, there's no real uh, trick to things. It's just we're just going to solve it, okay? Um, we're just going to go straight up and solve it the way we're used to. All right. So the trick to solving inequalities is just pretend there is an equal sign here, right? So it says 5x plus 8 is equal to, the, if, and then just solve like we normally would, right? Is equal to, um, we're just going to pretend, pretend there's an equal sign, right? It's not going to be actually there, but we're going to pretend, right? And, right, so if this was an equal sign, right, we, I always tell you guys, get rid of the smaller x first, right? So what's smaller, negative 5x or negative 2x? Negative 5x, right? So you're going to do plus 5x to both sides. And you're going to notice the following. This is going to go away. You're going to get 8 less than or equal to 3x plus 23. And then you're going to want to get rid of the 23 minus 23 minus 23. This is going to go away. 8 minus 23 is going to be negative 15 less than or equal to 3x. Divide both sides by 3. You're going to get negative five is gonna be less than or equal to x. So our goal is to solve and graph this. So to graph this, we're just gonna go ahead and draw a number line over here on the side, All right? I'm gonna put negative five in the middle. I'm gonna put negative six, negative seven, negative three, negative four, negative three, negative two, right? So. Because of this symbol, because of the, because of this symbol, we're gonna be closed, right? So that means wherever our negative five is, we're gonna have a solid circle. And we want x to be bigger than negative five, right? So because it's eating the negative five, right? It's bigger than negative five. This is eating that. What numbers are bigger? Negative two or negative six. If you go to the left, we're going smaller. So we're actually gonna to wanna to go to the right. So yay, we're just gonna to go to the right. It's solve and graph, right? Um, yeah, all right, so this, this is pretty much straightforward, right? Um, yeah, so this is pretty easy. I think you can solve for X, you can do this. All right, let's go on to our next example. We have three minus four x equals to 11. All right, so here we already have x on one side. So let's go ahead and get and get rid of our, get 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 rid of our minus three, right? I three by doing minus three, right? Minus three, minus three. This goes away. Now we're gonna get negative four x is less than or equal to eight, okay? And then you know the step, we're gonna divide both sides by negative four, negative four, right? That's gonna give us X and that's gonna give us negative two. However, you wanna note, this is an important note. Okay, right? When you multiply flat or divide by a negative, you flip the inequality symbol. Um, so what I mean by that is, we're no longer gonna have this, we're gonna now flip it and do it this way, all right? And so the reason you're probably wondering is why do I have to do that? Well, there's another way to solve this problem and I'll show you real quick, all right? And both ways are correct, right? So we have three minus four x less than or equal to 11. One way we could have solved this would have been 
plus four X. Normally we don't do this, but we could have done this plus four X, right? And we could get three is less than or equal to 11 minus four X minus 11 minus 11. This is gonna become, oops. This becomes negative eight less than or equal to negative four X. I mean, two plus four X, so plus four X divided by four divided by four. Um, you're gonna get negative two is less than or equal to X. It's the same thing, it's still eating the X, okay? So just remember, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, flip the inequality symbol. You see this inequality symbol, you flip it, all right? Just, just trust me. All right, and now to graph it, it's pretty straightforward, right? You're gonna draw your number line. I like putting my negative two, negative three, negative four, negative one, zero. I like, I like putting my number in the middle. So if you look at this inequality, it's uh, closed, right? We're gonna have a solid circle and we're being bigger than negative two. So we wanna go to the right. If it was even negative two, we're gonna go to the left. All right, and I think you're gonna get the hang of this. We're just gonna keep going ahead and do some more examples and then um, two more examples and then we're gonna call it a day. For this lesson, right? So this one is pretty straightforward. You want to get x by itself, so minus eight, minus eight, just goes away. Five minus eight is negative three, so less than three x. You're gonna divide both sides by three, right? And this is gonna go away, and you're gonna get negative one is less than x. All right. We do not flip the sign. You see how there's a negative here? Um. We don't care about the number on this left. It's the number we're dividing with. So if you divide with a negative number or you multiply with a negative number, um, that's when you will flip it. But because we divided by positive three, we're gonna keep it the same, okay? And then all we gotta do is graph that, which is gonna be pretty straightforward. I have negative one here, negative two, negative three, zero, one, right? So this is gonna be open, right? Because it doesn't have the line under it. That means we're not gonna include negative one. We're gonna have it open. And once again, it's eating the X. When it eats the X, you're gonna to go to the right. Because we're saying we want the numbers bigger than negative one. And that's all the, where the positive numbers are gonna be. Okay, we're gonna do one more example and then we're gonna call it a day, all right? So now we have negative five X plus two equals negative eight X. All right, so this one, I, my trick is usually get rid of the smaller X. The smallest X is actually gonna be negative eight X. So we're gonna do plus eight X plus eight x, all right? This is gonna go away, so we're gonna have zero on this right side, less than or equal to negative five plus eight x is gonna be three x, and then plus two. And then the last thing you're gonna do is do minus two, minus two, right? This is gonna go away. Three x less than or equal to negative two. And then last thing is divide by three, divide by three, you're gonna get X is greater than or equal to negative two over three. Now, this is one of the harder ones to graph, but not really, all right? So just start out, just, just hear me out here. You're gonna draw your number line, right? You're gonna draw, um, that's negative two over three, right? So you're gonna draw zero, you're gonna draw negative one, and you're gonna draw negative one, um, positive one here. Now, do you see how this is third? You're gonna divide this into thirds, right? right here, two pieces, two pieces. It's gonna be negative one over three, negative two over three. And then this is negative three over three, but negative three over three is one. All right, and then it's gonna be the same thing over here. One over three, two over three, and then three over three is one. So we're gonna find our negative two over three, right? Remember, this is closed. So we're gonna have a closed circle at negative two over three. And now we're gonna be bigger. So which numbers are bigger? It's always to the right if we're going bigger. So uh, we're gonna go to the right. And that's our answer. All right. I think it's pretty straightforward and we're gonna go over a lot of problems like this in class um, coming up. So make sure you show up to our Zoom session. Other than that, guys, if you have any questions, let me know on Schoology or in the Zooms. Have a great day.
Bye.